to celebrate the Harrier's 40th anniversary, I'm pushing the limits of engineering to create my own vertical takeoff jetpack for the price of an average bicycle. But the Stansfield Mark I was not a great success. Stop! Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that actually probably hurts. What I learned from this little bump was that I'd need to sort out both the control system and the thrust. It took me and my mates a fair few hours in the workshop, but I think we may have done it. So here it is, Mark II. Now the best thing about Mark II is it only weighs half as much as Mark I. The other nifty little feature is this seat here. That means I get lifted right up the center of gravity. We've also fitted quick release racing harness because I discovered in test one that hitting the ground really hurts. But this time I'm gonna be flying it over water, which is good because it makes for a softer landing, but bad because it runs that slight risk of drowning. The other advantage is that I'll have an unlimited supply of water, which is critical as the new fire truck I'm using has the capacity to double the flow rate coming through the pipes to around a thousand gallons a minute. Here we go, the moment of truth. Does the science stack up? Is the engineering adequate? I hope so. Problem I've got is I've got limited control. I can go right and left, I can go forwards and backwards, but up and down is not up to me. It's up to these guys. The higher they wind up the pressure, hopefully the higher I go. Here we go. Okay, good. The key to blasting me upwards is not the pressure of water when it leaves the fire truck, but the pressure of the water as it whizzes around the bends in the pipes on my back. To get airborne, I need to maintain at least five times atmospheric pressure in my backpack. But as the jets fire up, something is not quite right. reassuringly stable. It almost felt like I'd be prepared to take that back over land if it didn't mean chewing up this guy's field. It's just, it's still just fractionally short on lift. Even with the engine giving me full whack at one end of the hose, the forces hitting my backpack at the other end only just lifted me from the water. We can't lift the pressure at the engine any higher or change the jetpack. But there is one thing we can try, sending the fireman back for a shorter length of hose. That should reduce pressure loss caused by friction as the water rushes along the pipe and with luck, give me my magic five atmospheres of sustained pressure. But will it? This is the one. Let's go. Good. That's one of the best things I've ever done. 